Laser engraving is so much fun and laser engravers are so much more accessible than ever before. If you love to craft like I do then I'm sure you'll love this gadget. Here I have the Laser Pekka 2. In another video I showed you engraving many different materials and items but today I put the Laser Pekka to the test and I want to cut various materials. Being able to cut on this will open up a huge range of possibilities and get really creative and enjoy this product even more. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sarah and let's see what we can cut on the Laser Pekka 2 today. I always put a protective block underneath as I have etched onto the base before and we have all the safety equipment. Please make sure you wear all the correct protective equipment and you work in a well ventilated area. I control my Laser Pekka 2 through my iPad or smartphone. I send designs to my iPad and then save them in my image library. Wood is the first material I'm going to test cutting. I have a sheet of birch plywood. The first thing that I notice is the laser beam is going from side to side, whereas I actually want it to be able to follow the work path and cut as it goes around the shape. We can change this in the settings, but you know what? For the first attempt, I am super happy that this has actually laser cut through the wood and we don't have a very clean image, but it has actually cut, so we can address these issues in a little while. I've made myself a large paper clip, and in one of the other videos, I etched on my face onto a piece of wood, and so now I'm going to turn that, I'm going to try and turn that into a paper clip with my face on it. But most importantly, this time the laser beam is following the cut line, which is what we wanted. So in the settings, the important word there that I changed was G-code. When you first add in the image, you can change this then. This was a piece of MDF, and again, it's really not perfect, and it's really burnt it too heavily. I spray painted the plywood one, and then engraved over the top. So now on to trying to improve that cut line and not getting such a burn. When I have a new material I always do a test piece and cut a small circle and keep changing those parameters till I am happy with the results. Sometimes you might want to reduce the strength but increase the passes. With these scraps of wood that I found I'm cutting out some little stars. I've had this laser pecker for really quite a few months now and I can't believe that I've not been cutting on it already because the results are really quite amazing. I love making pin badges and these are going to be absolutely perfect for that. These stars have a lovely clean cut on them. One thing I would say is the project obviously has to be small, as your maximum cutting area is 10cm by 10cm. The Laser Pekka 2 is a very portable laser. You can remove it from its stand, then it becomes a handheld laser too. This next piece of wood is a little bit thicker. For these stars I'm using 85% power, 40 depth and 6 passes. And I think they've come out really lovely and I think you'll notice with the laser pecker it actually works really quickly. Much quicker than the other lasers that I have. In the creation mode in the laser pecker app I have just added in some words and I am engraving these words onto my little pins. You could spray paint them, paint them or varnish them. I have a box of pin backs and you can glue some pins onto the back of these. I sometimes use some resin and coat the whole of the pin with the resin. And hopefully you'll like these as much as I do and they make some wonderful back to school gifts. You can make so many different designs and the laser pecker works really well for this small item. I will certainly be making lots more using this. You can make earrings and keychains and any kind of tag. So cut some different shapes. Here I have a heart and I'm just engraving my name on it. And I can use this to add tags to whatever I wish. So the question is, what will you make with yours? Let me know in the comments below. On my other laser engravers, I've been cutting some acrylic sheet. And so I thought I'd test the laser pecker too to see if that can cut the acrylic sheet as well. I did 100% power, 50% depth and 2 passes. 
Acrylic sheet gives off toxic fumes, so make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and wear a mask as well. Always make sure that the unit is the correct distance away from your material so that the laser is correctly focused. I'm cutting out the star again here just to test it and hopefully I will be able to make some pin badges out of these as well. So any small items you'd like to cut out of acrylic then you can do so on here as it has cut through really quite nicely. Not all colours of acrylic sheet will actually cut on the laser so do bear this in mind. It's cut through this really quite quickly and I am happy with how it's cut and a few more tweaks and we can get it even more perfect. You can always reduce the strength and up the number of passes if you feel it's burning slightly. I like to cover mine in resin and you can create some gorgeous designs like these and make some lovely pin badges and similar items. Because I control my laser pecker through my iPad, I like to do some of my designs straight onto the iPad and so here I have Procreate and I can draw some designs in this, save them to my image library and then print them straight from there on the laser pecker. Procreate is a program that I'm just getting familiar with and the possibilities seem really quite endless and I look forward to getting even more out of this when I've learnt some more. You can also find some images on the internet and save these to your library. You can also create your image directly in the Laser Pecker app. I just find that a little bit more limiting but it is fine for basic designs. And there is an image library in there to get you started quickly as well. Here I've designed just a simple pattern I want to cut out of some felt. First of all testing it with these parameters 118 on one pass. It cuts through the felt but it burns just a little bit too much so we need to reduce those settings for this thinner felt. I have some felt which is much thicker so I'm going with 119 and 2 passes. You could do lots of decorations and different items if you can cut any shape out of felt. There is a felt and a fabric setting that you can use and this will engrave onto your items. I thought I'd make a minimalist pencil case and so I'll add a little bit of velcro on both sides of this and wrap it around my stationery to keep it all together. Not perfect but cute. It can also cut paper and cardboard. Here I'm making a cardboard bookmark but my design was a little bit too intricate so I'm going to have a go and do a slightly larger design for the heart part. The best way to use this is with trial and error and see what you like and see what you don't like, see what works and see what's successful. You can engrave onto the card as well and the settings are preset for this as well, although you can adjust them as you need to. I'm outside and it's gone a little bit breezy so I should have taped down my card here as a couple of them did blow away in the process. I've made lots of personalised birthday cards in this way as well. While I made this bookmark I thought I'd make another bookmark out of a lollipop stick, a popsicle stick and I'm simply engraving onto this. Again if it's windy or there's any chance of these wobbling about do take them down otherwise they go a bit wrong like these do. I laser cut a hole into the end of the stick where I can add some cord and some beads and that can fit lovely inside your book as a bookmark. To go with the back to school theme I thought I'd make some pen toppers and I wanted to try cutting this glitter foam. You can get this in lots of craft stores and even though you can cut it easily with the scissors I thought it'd be quite fun to be able to cut out different designs with the laser. I designed some butterflies quickly on Procreate, saved them in my images and then I was able to cut them out on the laser. I tested my settings first with the little star and of course I'm making sure I tape down the foam so that it can't blow away. I used quite light settings to cut this and it was just a bit of fun. Don't follow my example because it might be a material that you're not actually supposed to burn so make sure you're in a well ventilated area and check first to see if it's an item that shouldn't be lasered. These are so fun and I'm really pleased with the project. Just like with the laser pecker, I'm really happy with how this works and as you can see, yes you can cut with the laser pecker too. So if you're considering getting one, please do check the description below for the link and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.